You know, uh, earlier today I saw the trailer for The Roverine. So yeah, this is Derek Yosh, and I'm going to give my thoughts on The Roverine. Okay, um, pretty much we know that this is going to be the second movie to uh, X-Men Roverine Origins, of course. But here's the thing, The Roverine, The Roverine. No, it should have been called The Return of Roverine, basically. That's what it should have been called, The Return of Roverine, not The Roverine. Because, see, uh, that's just going to pretty much uh, turn critics off of the movie. You know, that's going to turn people off of the movie. No, I know, but, you know, um, this movie looks like it's going for a serious tone. You know, not the, you know, uh, sort of, you know, uh, like a little bit of a, like a little bit of a over-the-top movie. No, this one is going to be serious. I know what it is. You know, but, um... You know, it could be good, it could be bad, you know, we don't know yet. You know, maybe it could be the worst X-Men movie ever made, God only knows, but, you know, don't let a trailer trick you. You know, I know there that, that it looks like there's some good fight scenes in it and stuff like that, but, you know, think about it like this. What was the last movie? What was the last movie? It was X-Men First Class. And, you know, I heard, I heard reviews that the movie sucked, okay? I'm just saying, I heard reviews that, you know, the movie sucked and, of course, rants on it and stuff like that. Mainly uh, from Matt and OCP. Okay, but um, here's what I'm trying to say, though. You know, think about it like this, okay? X-Men 3 was a fucking terrible movie, and then we had Roverine Origins, which was, you know, good, you know, was good, and then we have X-Men First Class, which is pretty much dog shit, okay, and then we're, we're going back to something good. No, I know, but it's kind of weird, though, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's real weird. Like, you probably don't know what I mean when I say real weird. Like, okay, you think after Roverine Origins they would make a sequel right away, but no. Of course, making a prequel about Magneto, and then afterwards making a sequel to Roverine Origins. Don't you find that kind of strange? You know, I'm just saying, don't you try, don't you find that kind of strange? It is strange. But, uh, you know, this movie could be, you know, a mixed bag for me. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> okay, so as I was saying, this movie could be a mixed bag for me. You know, pretty much so, because, um... You know, Roverine Origins, don't get me wrong, it was a good movie. But, um, you know, there's some scenes in there that, you know, is just like, yeah, you know. I mean, mainly the last part of the movie. Uh, you know, I thought the last part of the movie was so stupid, though. No, I know, but this is mainly about the Roverine. No, I know, but I'm, I'm just going to say right now. You know, this movie looks like it's going to be good, but, um, I have to watch the movie for myself when it comes out. God only knows when this film comes out, but I'm just saying, though, we, we just have to, you know, um, see what happens, okay? We just have to see what happens when, uh, we see more trailers and, uh, what happens more. You know, but as for now, um... I'm sort of uh, mixed in a bag, sort of, you know, like, I have mixed opinions on on the film. You know, don't get me wrong, the action scenes look very good, you know, 
the movie looks very good, but, you know, sometimes from trailers, it just does, um, you know, the movie justice, and then when you actually see the movie, then, you know, you're not satisfied with the final product, okay, and pretty much that's it, I'm out, peace.